Hey guys, uh, me, Steve, on Steve Magnet Fishing Channel again. It's uh, Monday 19th, 1st of June, 2017. Time is 9.36 I think. Here, back again at the uh, Bowen Lake. Um, fish out there. It's not going to be disturbing in a minute. Get the old gloves on. Let's see what I can get today, if anything. I've not had a good couple of days since I've been out. Let's hope I can get something decent today. Another bloody hot day. It's sweltering. I want to try to do all round that half. Let's see how it goes. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. I've got to keep bringing his bag around. So I don't know what that is. I can't even fucking see it. Looks like a jewelry box. Could be a ring in there for I know.
Oh, he's safely. It's all kind of box. <laughs> nice in here, though. Little box. Got my feet wet for that. Oh, I've shown that dark fruit, my favourite drink. So I wouldn't have a fucking diamond ring or something in there, that would have been a good find. I'm trying not to collect many bottle tops today. on rope. So many bottle tops. So much soot here. Oh, 
Sometimes it's a bull. Oh, it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? Not much coming out of here. There's a little bit of a repair to my magnet yesterday. Stuck some super glue in, hot glue around the edge. Like to think we've done it, but maybe wrong. Oh, there's something on it, tin. Well, first bit of trash. I'll end this little block for you guys and I'll get back to you shortly. So guys, I'm back. Don't look at the problem with the camera just then. I'll just um, dip in around here because I felt, I felt something click. Hopefully, and I walked up. Hopefully, and walked up. Could there be a little money spill here? Don't know. There's something down there though. You feel it? Bloody dogs in the way all the time. Oh, 
Okay. Right there. Another bloody bag. Look at all these fucking bags. Ridiculous, man. Two more bottle caps. I'm not collecting bottle caps today. Take that one, though. So many bags in this. There's a shoe down there, I think. Not in the bag. So bloody hot again. What's that on there? An old gas bottle. About four I've pulled out now, those gas bottles again. I'll make floats out of these. Little bobber floats. No two. Two moons, not got that one. 
I say I'm not going to collect them, but there's a couple there which I haven't seen. I probably will. Need to have a drink in a minute. Top on there, so it. So, anything? Femi? So, uh, that eight feet I've got. All these knots I've got in here. I really don't know why people let their dogs swim in this, it's so dirty. No, no, you need cooling out, but letting dogs drink this water is fucking wholesome. Okay, it sank now. Didn't come out though. Oh, fucking bag. I ain't gonna keep taking bags out of the bin, guys. Sorry about that, but no fucking way. I ain't here to take fucking bags out everywhere. Metal I don't mind, but bags, no way. I don't get paid for it. Not so much that, it's just the hassle keep walking out of the bin all the time. I need to get someone in there and fucking drench this again. Another fucking bottle. Gas bottle.
magnet fishing, getting all the metal out, which is magnetised to the magnet. Oh, I thought you were making some sort of measurement or something. Nah, oh, just getting magnet. Yeah. Just getting some of the metal stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing all the bags, there's just too many bags oh, in here. I should uh, get the people down here to do the yeah, like, yeah, litter yeah, stuff. It's particularly bad today because of the weather, you know. Yeah. Come on you, I'm not going to put you in. Oh, well, yeah, oh blimey, that, <laughs> this water is so dirty and the amount of dogs I've seen go in there, you know. No, I'm just hoping that they're going to wash them off the hug as well, you know. <laughs> no, it's not, she doesn't go in this one because she's frightened from taking that plunge. But, yeah. Um, a lot of dogs do go in. Yeah, I know, I've seen quite a lot go in there. It's just, you know, you're two over there and like, you know. Do they wash the dogs yeah. after they go home or do they just leave them? And well, they dry out and people forget about it. Oh, yeah. Oh well, thanks for doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's all this milk stuff that yeah. keeps coming out. So you can get thanks by people sometimes for doing a bit for the environment, but no way am I going to get all these bags out. I know all I've got to do is bend over and pick them up, but. I'm here to magnet fish, not litter. It is covered in muck. I wouldn't let your dog go in there. Huh? Take him over the other one. The little one, it's cleaner over there. Yeah, they, they move. <laughs> I've seen a lot of dogs go in that one. Right, it's all right saying I want to call them off, but this wall is so disgusting. I wouldn't like to go in here if I was the fucking dog. These guys are supposed to keep your fucking hands dry, look, they're soaking wet. They only got the holes in. Not getting really nothing out of here. A few coins, a couple of bottle tops.
Pumpkin can. Right, I'm going to stop the video again guys, see if we can think later, I'll do I'll let you know. Well guys, I've walked all the way down now, I've probably missed about 20 yards. I'll <coughs> come up more to the corner, just had a, a snap on my line, quite close in. Whoa, look at that, old police whistle, oh yes, that is fucking wicked, look at that, police whistle, definitely having that. <coughs> it's really bloody hot out here still guys I tell you. Come up to the corner. See what I'll get up here. I'm not really getting much at all now. Now a couple more coins, but that's about it. Ten p and a two p. I'm not chucking it as far as that now. Just want to get this over and done with. And if I go to the smaller lake, probably go on a bit earlier today. Old folks start to play up again. No, magnet fishing. Getting out the old iron and steel. Oh, is it? Yeah, getting what coins. Just got an old police whistle, old police whistle out. Yeah. Yeah. I know what it is, but yeah. Yeah, an old one. The old steel. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Well, you used it in the olden days, probably about. 40s, 50s, up to about 70s. Uh, yeah. Here, yeah, I've had a couple of pen knives, a load of coins, um, just nuts and bolts, and you know, iron stuff. Did you sell it all on and that? Nah, anything interesting, yeah. I'll keep myself. But I found a, a little Gallinger, one of those little pocket yeah. waste guns over at um, River Wandle. I don't know if it's yeah, whereabouts is it? Near the uh, park. Know where the park, uh, the oh. lake is. If you walk right back up towards the first bridge, near the uh, little oh, waterfall. Wolf park? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I flipped that. There's South London. Yeah, right. up there. Abbey Mills, you know? Yeah. And then the other place I got was 10 iron musket balls. 10 feet. Uh -huh. uh, 10 iron musket balls over at uh, Hatbridge River Wandle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fish in here, isn't there? Yeah, they keep it for the actual uh, stock. Oh, 
must come over and have a kid with the old Bolton over there, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, I spoke to Ian Bolton, the guy who runs the lakes, and he said, I can do this, no problem. But I spoke to um, one of the boaters, she goes, oh, you want to go to the boat, mate? You'll probably get one of the old boats over there, remote controls. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, fuck. I ain't got nothing like that out of here. Yeah, when I was younger, I was fucking old. Fucking many moons ago, yeah, every Sunday would be a boat, and boat, and boat, and boat, yeah. No, I'm intrigued what you're doing, that was all. Oh, I'll pull that salmon into this gas in just... Oh, that's the whole fucking nappy. Yeah. gas, isn't it? I f yeah, first day I came over, I was over where that guy was, and I pulled out about 50 within half a day. Well, the concepts, isn't it? Fucking ridiculous, I tell you, man. <laughs> you know, all the scrap I just pick up and throw it to one side and then put it in the bin later. Any coins I keep, any uh, interesting items I keep. No, I'm quite intrigued, I've never seen this before. Oh, there's plenty of people on uh, YouTube that does it. Guy up in Scotland was doing one of the lakes and he pulled out uh, one of the old, um, what was it called? Uh, Win a row, man. Um, oh, what's that other fucking place? Norman Sword, about that big. Yeah? Yeah, still had the metal, um, metal handle. But the uh, the bone or wood handle, which might have been on this gun, but yeah, well happy. No guy pulled out. <laughs> I watched the YouTube channel last night, and the guy pulled out a fucking grenade. <coughs> and like you know, the, the grenade still had the pin in, luckily, but underneath, I think they definitely had been taken out. Uh, might find a few fucking guns in here. Yeah, that it. There was a safe over there a couple of weeks ago, apparently. I was just a bit too late to get there. But usually you find more, you know, kind of like, in close, you know, where people just toss it in. You know, especially coins and... I found a jewellery box over there. I thought, oh, please, there'd be some jewellery in there. It's fucking empty. Yeah, over years, you know what's been going on here, innit? Yeah. Oh, he's even fucking bomb bruv, innit? I remember we used to fucking freeze over here when we was a kid, we used to fucking run about on the ice over here, do you know what I mean? That's probably all sorts down there, mate, isn't it? Yeah, I could probably go further out if I want to, you know, I've got a 30 metre line, but I don't want to keep scaring the fish off too much, so basically. There's a few cock out there, isn't there? Yeah. I think they put them in there, they used to fucking go from the other one, they put them in there, didn't they? Yeah. You're not allowed to fish this one, are you? No. I've got a permit for the one up there and all that. Yeah, I had. In that one by the um, Tom's wagon thing, they've got, they've got all different. Not just carp now, yeah. all things have a ropes and all that in there now, haven't they? Another two P. Just keep building up the coins and be able to get another magnet soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, about three quid in coins from here. Uh, no, the Abbey Mills. Yeah, yeah, so I know. Yeah, that. I know there. I've got load of coins from there. By the puppet? Yep. Um, must have been a little coin spill or someone had like a bag of money and threw it in or something. It's just ones, twos, a couple of five piece. Uh, and I went to what, Hatbridge where I got ten musket iron, ten iron musket balls. Fucking that, that's a bit of a sign. Yeah, ten iron musket balls. One guy has got one exactly the same as mine, about that big. Yeah. And he's selling them on eBay for $175. I thought, fucking, I've got three of those. But I ain't selling them because it's history. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, never I've never heard of it, I've never seen this before, bruv. I'm very intrigued. Yeah. Because I've been fishing all my life, that's I thought you fucking. I've never done magnet fishing. Well, one, one, one of the land book guys just pulled up a little while ago. Goes, what are you doing, mate? I said, uh, magnet fishing. He goes, oh, I wonder what he's doing with that fucking piece of the right rope. I said, no, I'm just like getting some shit out of the lake for you. He goes, That's oh, well done. Doing, yeah, yeah. yeah, I ain't pulling all the fucking bags and all that shit. I've done too many of them. I've had enough pulling the fucking bags out. Yeah, it's just fucking dark, man. There's a lot of fucking fish in here, though, isn't there? I'm surprised the fucking fish are surviving here. 
put with the noise in the summer with the concert and whatnot. Yeah. Fucking... Look, too many fucking bags. If they dredge that, I bet it'd be fucking full of shit down there, wouldn't it? So I'm going to get all the fish out, clean all this fucking water out, make it nice and clear. All you've got to do is fucking electrocute them, don't you, and stick it back over there, the other one. Yeah. yeah instead of changing the water, it gets to make them look funny, doesn't it? They're used to this shit, I suppose, aren't they? Oh, it gets a bit tiring after a while, I know, it makes your back ache. I think the best ones are little Gallinger <coughs> and their musket balls. Yeah. Um, a couple of pen knives. That was over on the other river though, on the, uh, the big lake. <coughs> yeah, that was on a big lake, a couple of pen knives, and for the coins, a pair of discordias. I don't think there's going to be any like fucking old boats in here, like the boat you've said. I went over to uh, Putney Bridge. Fucking load of bollocks over there. Yeah, my mate used to do that. You know the metal detector thing? Yeah. He used to do that down, you know, when the tide goes down. As a little hobby, but. Yeah, I went over there. After two casts, my magnet came off. And I thought I lost it completely. I spoke to a guy and he goes, like, you know, I said, it's tight going in or out. He goes, it's going out. So lucky I waited about half an hour. I saw me a magnet just sitting there like that. So I threw the, the hook out and I caught it and got it back in. And this time I fucking put super glue on and hot glue so it won't come off as easy. Ugh. I hate that kickback. It's nice in this weather though, isn't it? It cools you down. Yeah. But it smells. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get on the bus and you, women over there and I was thinking, what the fuck? So before I get on the bus now, I fucking spray myself down with deodorant, which I'll bring with me. Too many complaints on the fucking bus, I'll be kicked off. Where did you have that way I've been mills in here? Yeah, I live near Mitchum. Lovely nice, lovely nice of this, isn't that a bit? No. Oh, the town centre bit? No, I don't know that much. I ain't lived there that long, about three years. Still don't know that. Yep. Have you seen that fishing before? Yeah. It's got my first interesting find from been here after several days. No police whistle. Hand for the coins. Yeah, pennies, one peas, two peas, five peas, ten peas. Well, I said there's got to be some few guns in here, isn't there? Guns and knives. Yeah. Definitely got a few here. pen knives from the other lake, but nothing decent. I'm trying to find a way of pop getting all the fucking all the rest right stuff on. Tried vinegar, tried like WD-40, WD-40 and vinegar. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of coins aren't magnetic, are they? Yeah. From I think about 89 onwards. Right. But there's still a load of coins, you know, like I pulled out about 30 pence already today. Right. Shit loads of bottle tops. I think so. It, like, you, when, you cut, when you pull it, it's supposed to be flat, but it doesn't go flat. I'm trying to find a good way of getting the magnet flat so it runs over. Because when it's going up, it'll only catch if it's going along that way. If it's going that way, then you're going to get more. I've seen a few people use, like, you know, bottles as like a countermeasure, but the only thing that does is to uh, stop it from hooking up on uh, rocks and stuff.
Now, I've seen other guys where they put two magnets on a, like a piece of metal that way. That seems to work, but I'm not going to put this 60 kilo and my 140 kilo on there. No way. My 140 is just like, you know, I've, I've got a bit of a back problem. Tin opener! A bit of tin opener. I've got a bit of a shoulder problem, so I can't use the 140 at the moment. You do all the fronts as well, apart from this one. I've done this one, I've done that one, I've done that one. The only ones I haven't done yet is the tooting one. Tooting ponds or lakes. I don't know how to get there yet. Well, fucking that one, <laughs> Probably find a fucking shitload of condoms floating around everywhere. Yeah, you know, I was here just last weekend. Uh, I've been here a couple of oh, about four or five hours. I went over to that small one, I, th I can't th think it was Thursday or Friday, and I'd done a couple of hours over there, and I started walking over to the big one, and the fucking police have wrapped off part of the wooded area. And I thought, oh, what's going on here then? So I walked over to the big lake, and one of the guys over there fishing said, um, some guy tried to commit suicide over there, oh, hanging right, himself. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It didn't go through, it didn't go through, it didn't go through. Well, he, he, what he done, he hung himself, but a dog handler walked past with his dog, and the dog started yelping, wondering what the hell you know, his dog was yelping for. He went in and found out the guy was hanging there, and they was out to like, revive him. <coughs> so I don't think there's anything out there, in the middle. I've chucked it out quite a few times, I'm not really getting much out of there, it's more in the close in, you know. Some people would like, you know, really bring in quickly, I'll bring in a bit more slowly because I never know if you're going to, you know, go over something, yeah. Where'd you get the idea from? YouTube. I was just watching some fishing channels and I went river fishing and I saw some guy fucking chuck the wagon in and I thought, hello, what's this then? I never thought of it until I seen you. No, no, I just seen it in stock today when I thought, what's the other Magnet thing? fishing? It's a simple idea, isn't it? Really simple. Yeah. You know, you've got the patience, you know, you, you probably pull out a shitload of junk. But, you know, I've seen people pull out guns. I put out, like, that little mini uh, Dillinger kind of gun over at the River Wandle. Ten iron musket balls, different, all different shapes. Um, ten knives, coins. Any watches? Uh, no, I pulled out a watch chain though. Um, what else did I pull out? Um, those, no, those little um, iron water tap things, you know, the plugs. Well, before I got the smaller one, I put, got a bigger one out, really heavy. Took that home and didn't know what it was. Some guy on Facebook said, oh, that's the things that the, uh, when the firemen are going, looking for the water hydrant things, that's one of them where it tells you. Oh, yeah. Then down the river Wandle, I'm pulling all this stuff out, guy walks up to me, you know, volunteer, rubbish cleaner. He, he says, oh, wait, well I mate, keep on, you know, keep up the good work. And ten minutes later, some other guy walks up to me, nearly gives me a heart attack. You know, he creeps up, what are you doing, mate? Oh, fucking hell, don't. Did I give you a hernia? I said, nearly, yeah. And I said, oh, sorry. I said, um, oh, I'm just doing magnet fishing, mate. He goes, magnet fishing? I said, yeah. I said, I'm pulling all the shit out. He goes, fuck, hell, you're doing a good job there, aren't you? I said, yeah. He goes, uh, hmm, interesting. And I had a feeling he was a bailiff. I said, are you a bailiff? He goes, um, yeah, I am, actually. So I ain't breaking no laws. No, I said, you're actually doing the environment. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But when I tried to do the uh, the lake in uh, Morden Park, <coughs> I went up to this guy because I was feeding some ducks. I went, uh, all right, if I drop me a magnet in here in a minute. Oh no, you can't do fishing here. I said, what do you mean, you can't do fishing? He goes, no fishing lad in here. I said, what, no fishing? He goes, no fishing at all. I said, huh, I think you're wrong there, mate, but I'm not going to argue. I just walked off and I didn't bother. Because he said it was private land, and it's not, it's public. <coughs> so, um, I didn't bother.
So I've done down the old, uh, no, the water mill down on the river Mond, all done down yeah, here. Yeah. I'll tell you what would be good if you could drop off the bridges on slack tide. Yeah. Off the bridges, just go vertically down. Yeah, I could do. Then your, com your magnet would be flat and you could do it from the bridge. Yeah. I don't like to get wet iron, there's too many people around though, can I? Some people, you know, you get funny, oh, we can't be doing that, you know, you're disturbing the wildlife. Well, uh, don't you think I'm helping the wildlife by getting half the shit out of the water for them? You know, quite a lot of people, though, have said, like, oh, well done, you know, you're doing a really good job there, you know, keep up the good work. You're doing the environment's a good turn there. I went over the Putney Bridge and it, you know, tide was going out, I thought it was coming naturally, but I've cast that a couple of times and it's really going, I'm thinking, what the fuck am I was getting this, you know? And I'm pulling and pulling and I've managed to get it three couple of times and on the third time I thought, yeah. so I pulled it a couple of times and I thought, what the fuck? I thought, this is too light, this is way too light and I pulled it in, the fucking magnet is off. I thought, what the fuck? Dogleaf. So what the fuck? Battery. So I'm standing, I think, fuck it, I've lost my Mac in it. I've only had it two weeks, I fucking lost it already. So there's a guy walking down a little bit further with his dog. I said, here mate, this tide going in or out? Oh, it's going out. Oh great, I might have to wait then. He goes, why? I said, I lost my magnet. I'm doing magnet fishing. He goes, yeah, it's definitely going out. So I'm standing where I've roughly cast out. I've still been casting the, you know, this clip out, see if I might hook it. Couldn't see nothing for a little while. Then as the tide was going out, I thought, hang on, is that my magnet there? And I thought, that's my magnet. And I just flipped it over and I hooked it onto the hook and I got it back. How much is one of them magnets? Well, this one uh, and a rope, because you get the rope separately. That, Rope seven pound, uh, I think was free postage, and this magnet is a sixty kilo pull. Uh, that's like fourteen pound plus three pound fifty postage, so under twenty quid, you know. Yeah. And you can get. I've actually bought two of these hooks, which were about three quid. Yeah. So I can tie the rope, and then you know give it a bit more of. Because I when I had the rope on it before you know it's just sliding everywhere like it was and you know it's just getting caught on, on the what's the name and I found that if I put a hook on it and tie it on with some black masking tape stuff I find that it works a lot better so I've got a, a diving business basically cutting north and I do I've done some search and recovery stuff I think oh yeah and uh, occasionally I've been caught out for rings and watches Wedding rings usually, people are feeding ducks. Yeah. Um, not not in ponds, but in in, 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 in canals and in the Thames as well. And, uh, totally. <laughs> this, this is a, I never I would have never thought of this. They could have been useful. Yeah, like, you know, the only thing is, it doesn't pick up silver or gold, sir. So That's the thing. Unless they bring out a magnet that can pick up silver and gold, that'd be cool. Yeah. But I don't think they ever will. But I've only just found out it actually now picks up the new pound coins and two pound coins, the two alloy ones. Yeah, but the thing is, when you pull them in, it's more of um, they only like clip on the bottom sometimes yeah. with this one, uh, with the bigger magnet I tried. Again, it, it click on and it just moves to the edge and it stays on the edge. So, you know, it, if you're lucky, you might get a few, but not all the time. You never know, you, you might just strike a really lucky one day. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you watch a lot of YouTube, Akachika, he's a, a guy in America, he does like underwater diving, yeah. metal detecting underwater, yeah. magnet, you know, he, he pulls up a load of stuff, but. Last year he was here in the UK 
with his mate on the River Thames and his mate, his mate was doing milk detecting and he fucking pulled up Gold Sovereign. A gold Sovereign. Yeah. With, with solid gold detector. Well, milk detector, yeah. yeah with but, you know, the tide was out. Yeah. And they caught, you know, brand new, well, not brand new, but um, I keep getting these damn things. Lots of them. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, um, nice, good condition gold coin. <sighs> When's he gonna buy it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just waiting for that little tin to pop up on the magnet, and you know, you hear that little rattle, yeah. and you open it up, and then like in jewelry or gold coins, so or do you feel like when you you're pulling, do you feel like, a, like almost like a biker? Depends on the weight, like yeah. you know, if it's like um, these light things, yeah. then not really, but if it's like well, I pulled out some metal rods over there, right. and iron pipes. Yeah. Now you can feel how heavy it was, you know, kind of thing. Uh, all I seem to be pulling out is, you know, those. Well, enough two. So people are coming over and sniffing them, aren't they? Yeah. Well, that's just fucking ridiculous. Nah. Well, actually, if it's got a little bit of iron yeah. or uh, steel on it, you know, such as like, you know, when you use it from. Because I, I pulled out a 25 gram uh, fishing weight. Yeah. And that, that had a piece of steel on it. Yeah, yeah. Or iron, one or two. And I was able to pick it up by that. I like, like the attachments. Yeah. thing is it gets so hot you know doing the same thing not another one I should be banned then please yeah I won't do that no oh, well. you know when I started here about a week ago I was where that guy was not from where that bench yeah. up to the t say to that tree I must have pulled out about 50 of those bloody things. But round here ain't been so bad, you know, I've only pulled about 15 out today. Yeah. I'd like to know where these boats are, the Bailey said, you know, you might get some. Yeah, apparently, but. Look, another one. There must be like, you know, little parts of this pond where people sit and got this bloody bin there, they can't even be bothered to put them in bins. And another one. Yeah, but I think it's like. What, I'm really into like finding stuff. I can just, I, I totally get it. I'll tell you, you would enjoy this. You know, if you know some good places, like um, there's a guy who lives. Just past London, I can't remember what the place is, but he lives near one of the old um, military um, gun factories, yeah. and it runs along the river. Yeah. Can't remember what river why I can't remember what it was, but um, Yeah, he lives near this um, old firearm factory, yeah. and he's pulling out God knows how many bullets on that river. So what weight is that magnet? What, uh, what size? This is a 60k one. Right. It's there, but he won't pick it up now. Switch into diameter. Uh, 60k. Oh, okay. Oh, that, is that his lifting power? Yeah, 60k is the lifting power. I pulled one of these out the other day, on the other side. Um, yeah, it's interesting what you can find, you know, people have found guns. 
um, watched a YouTube channel the other day and a guy pulled out a, a, a miss, well, a bomb yeah. about that big and they had to call the old bill round yeah. you know, out of the middle of nowhere yeah, that, that you, up, you know, people said to me like that little gallon jar fan all the bells missing and like part of the handle uh, where, whatever it was, wood or you know, what was ever on it is missing. And my sister goes, I should hand it in to the police. That'd be stupid. You know, it's probably like 100 years old, you know. Yeah, but it could have been a murder weapon. Yeah. Well, you know, and they'd never had forensics 100 years ago. Yeah. Man, the keys I pulled out though. I'm over there, I pulled out about eight keys over there, a couple of keys over there, keys over the river wandle, padlocks, some real old fashioned padlocks. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's like gold rings, you can't get them. If it's like brass rings, then you might possibly get... So I've had, I've actually pulled out a couple of brass rings out, like little latches. safe centre near the motor and bus garage. The time is 23. I'm going to give it half an hour or so here. Then I may nip over to the other side and try it down there. But there is a lot of weed. So I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to be bringing too much weed in. Careful, it's a bit slidey in here. Got something. Another one of these things. I do not know what these are. I think they're just little metal plates and a penny. Oh, 
Oh shit. Make it stuck. Something a bit metal. Right, it moves cold. Spanner. No. Come 
point down there. It's coming right down there. Got it. Ten pence, I think. MP, I think. No. The washer. Put the green weed back in. Helps to clean the weather. Weather, the river. Another coin down there, I think. I think there's a coin. Yep. Oh, it's a token. Indian. Indian coin. I think that might be a coin, I don't know. Could be. Yep. Another coin. Probably another Indian one. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna... don't know what that is. Didn't pick it up though. Moved it.
want to close it up. Not much here. Move up a little bit. So in a clue what we might see a few more coins. I don't know. A scooter down here. One scooter. where all this mud bank is in the middle that sometimes can have stuff like a kitchen knife <laughs> don't know what can be behind or hidden under all this kind of stuff Be a murder weapon for we know that knife. I see another knife down there. Big bolt. Right, 
too heavy. I'm not going to get that, whatever it is. It's a drain, part of a drainage system. Well, there's another knife down here. Yeah? Tuppence a bag. Tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag. Feed the birds, tuppence a bag. Oh, glass case. With glasses. <laughs> glass case with glasses. It's because it's a metal case. Kiddies glasses. Get a knife out. All these little leeches. Could these be murder weapons, I ask? You never know with the Wandle. All this weed to throw back because it can carry on growing, help to clean the water. So 
some heavy metal stuff down there. Oh, what's that? Another coin, probably. See, these are the ones which are better to do because you just don't know what kind of stuff could be here. Sink now. Don't know what it was. Sink definitely there. There could be stuff under all that dunge over there. Maybe fucking fell in with that hole down here then. So all that soap. Another knife. I'll see another knife over there, guys.
Olympic iron bar. three knives in one little part of the river. <sighs> Nothing ridiculous in it. Well, let it float down the river and settle somewhere else. I don't think that's a coin. No, it's a leaf. I don't know what that is. It looks metal. But it ain't. I don't know what it is, it looks weird though. Oh, tuppence. No, not one of those fucking gas cylinder things down there. Bet it is. I can't keep I can't get away from these gas fucking bottle things. These are what people use to get high on. What's that? Whatever that is, it's picked it up. Well, it did pick it up. Ah, oh, keys losing it. Ah, oh, some keys. Nice. That's what I like, keys. Looks like a bracelet or something, a necklace. I don't know what it is. Now where's it gone?
do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. Huh, some kind of a bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. Two keys and a bracelet. Whew. That hurt my chest. I think that's just a brick. There's two feet down there as well, I think. Oh, one, two, three, the washer. I don't know what it is. Right guys, um these got more bits I've got. Uh cut like pennies, spoon and the knife. Now this is a coin which did not get picked up by the magnet. Uh I had to actually take this socks and shoes off to get this one off. But it does not be it does not get picked up by the magnet. And I think it's 1997, I'm not sure. Um, we'll check that out a bit more later. So a few more coins added to the pot. Another knife and spoon. And let's see what else we can get. Apart from a drink, because I'm getting thirsty again. I'm trying to get a good, decent look at the lake river. <coughs> That's the first coin. No, I've got which was not magnetized. So we're still on this little stretch, getting a few decent things. Well, I don't hope. hope I hope I don't have to wade in again for more coins. I had to change the battery over just now because the battery went flat on me. And I think this is the last battery. I'm actually going to go on the other side a bit later, see what I can get on the other side.
something there. Bottle tap, washer. It's always worth doing down the bottom where all the broken branches and 